this is one of those high-Q titles that I'm not going to get until they explain the meaning during the episode, which always happens, but this one's called Everyone's Night, so I'm excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Tire Dapper Darius back at it again with High Q Season 4, Episode 9. I just said that just to let you guys know. It's going to take me at least a couple of minutes until I wake up. That's always what happens when I record in the mornings. I try to record at other times so this doesn't happen, but you guys know how it goes. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Last episode, we ended our practice match with Date Kogio. Amazing goodbyes. It was great seeing Kogan Agawa, Aone, the third years again. Fantastic seeing all of them. Super excited where we're going. We had little Natsu, <laughs> little sister talking about how Hinata just looks so much different with the ball, how they're like best friends now and how uh, it's just, it, I I'm I think the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is Hinata meeting Hoshiyumi and then Kageyama getting another chance to play with slash talk to Atsumu or is it Atsumo? No, Atsumo, because I really, I really want to see him in action. People have been commenting that he's a beast and that like <laughs> I, I haven't seen anything yet, which I believe. You know, there's a reason they're all on that national squad. Um, other than that, I said let's not waste any more time. Let's hop right onto this episode. Everyone's night. I'm so excited. Real quick, remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Jujutsu Kaisen, Black Clover, many, many more to come. We are four episodes ahead. Check out the Patreon. Links are always in the description for you guys if you guys want to check that out. If you guys want to support me, and Patreon's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias: Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys oh so very much. Uh, let's hop right on into this. Haikyuu, Season 4, Episode 9, Everyone's Night. Let's do it. What's going on? Is he having a nightmare? He said mom said the matches are all done yeah this has to be a nightmare everyone's night is this how everyone's dealing with the anxiety pressure of the upcoming tournament that would be horrifying <laughs> with the same puppy dog barking alarm clock that's what's giving you nightmares change that shit oh it's a new year it's our new year. I guess it would make sense. We know it's uh, super cold winter time, snow, you know. Happy New Year, ever the signs are saying. Man bun maniac. Oh, everyone's here early. Oh, and Kyoko's coming too. Hell yeah. Everyone's just early. Ah, so that's what they're doing, a shrine visit. I love seeing, you know, all these cultures. I want to do something like this one day. That'd be awesome. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I love giving, uh, getting this episode with all these third years. I love them. Hell yeah. As the light shines behind her like the angelic goddess that she is. <sighs> that's all she had to say. Ooh, Kageyama getting that training in. Okay, I need to go on a run myself. You know what I'm saying? Look at the drippy. Uh, on the New Year's Shrine with Yamaguchi, we, uh, is he going to wish for a certain victory? Would you like to come? No. <laughs> oh. Hey, at least he sent the invite. That's nice. Oh, Tanaka. Ishinoya. What is he playing? Badminton? Hell yeah. Is that Ishinoya's neighbor, granddad? Yeah, oh yeah. But you're still nervous coming into the gym. He's going to come in. See that volleyball net, right? We're good. Oh, they're playing badminton. I like the wooden paddles. Way cooler than like the wire rackets we use over here. 
It could be a multifaceted tool. It can spank you too. Do, do tunas die if they stand still? I don't know that. I know sharks can't be still. That's typical Daichi. <laughs> Just completely doesn't even make sense at all. That's hilarious. Sawamura? Hey! Oh, that's the... We played against him his school. We beat him in the first round, but he was such a cool guy. Ikajiri, right? Oh, and he saw us against Shiratorizawa. That's so cool. Tokonami? Is that the name of the school? Or my my brain farting? It's so cool seeing him again. That's friendly pressure right there. That's not too bad. I like that. You know, like, yes, it is pressure, but it's, it's in the best way. Like, come on. Everyone's counting on you. Everyone, you know. I do remember that. See? Loosens him up. Always gonna wait. That's what, exactly what he needed. That friendliness, you know, that friendly pressure. We depart. Oh, we're there. Spring tournaments tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> the pacing in the show, man. I love it. Got the travel toothbrush for Hinata. Look at these country boys. So excited to be in the big city. Tsukushima's just out. Kagayama doesn't care. Yachi's yeah, being her typical Yachi self. Yes, the hotel you guys are staying at? Oh my god, it does look nice. That's like a Royal Hamptons Inn type joint. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that reminds me so much of Hunter Hunter when like, wow, this is the building? That's so amazing. And then it ends up being like that shitty restaurant or whatever. Hilarious. I'm oh the video he had to make the promotional video. Oh, hell yeah! Little highlight video. Hell yeah! Ooh, the super libero. <laughs> I like it. If there's one person who's like Daichi, it's gonna be Enoshita. Always by the book. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm saying. Tsuwara would know. It's the exact opposite. Love's going for his jogs. No, okay. Okay, what do you do? What do you do? Oh. Is he renting Tsukushima a bike? <laughs> so Tsukushima can just keep up, keep an eye on Kageyama not to make sure nothing happens. It actually wouldn't be too bad. Watch going with them while they're on the jog, you know, while I'm on a bike. See in the city, you know? Uh oh. Whoa, we're actually getting a bath scene? Small talk. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Oh. I could see how that could leave scars on your legs, yeah. Tripping over those hurdles seemed like they hurt. I didn't know that at all, though. That's just so funny, I swear. So it's nice to have. Yeah, it's nice to have Yachi there for. Her. And Yachi seems no like no matter what, she's just so genuine, you know. Everyone's having their good old times. Doesn't look like the nerves are hitting them. Getting some good sleep. Nishinoya is fucking. That's me. That's vibes. Oh, ho, 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 hell yeah. 
I didn't even know about that baseball tournament they were talking about. I need to watch Ace of Diamond, man. <laughs> A lucky perf. She just caught him. <laughs> Ooh, Komori Itachiyama. Ooh, let me see. Oh, yep. Makes sense. No COVID over here. Hey, hey, hey! Boguto! Akashi! People, people... I love how we're coming in as not only the underdogs, but as the unknown dogs. Everyone knows Komori. Everyone knows Sakusa. Everyone knows Bokuto. They're listed in the monthly, but nobody knows these wide-eyed, sh the wide-eyed shrimp. No one knows everyone. I mean, people know Nishinoya, obviously, but you guys know Kageyamo. You guys know what I'm trying to say. We can make a name for ourselves and make a splash. Oh. You country bumpkins. I remember the last time they talked about the sky tree was when we went to face Nekoma. Look at this fucking gymnasium. We got a fucking orchestra. We got championship flags. The 47 representative schools. This is so cool. Karasuno. Bro, that would be so nerve-wracking. It's so cool at the exact same time. Daichi fucking captain holding the thing, bro. I got fucking chills. I got goosebumps. Bro, we finally made it. It's starting. I, oh, look at that, bro. I did not think after season one I would get here. The battle on the orange court. Ooh. All right, man. The pacing in this episode. It got us there. We're there. We're starting. The next episode is going to be, I guess... Uh, Maybe us talking to a couple more teams, but I'm guessing it's going to be the start of our first national fucking match, which is going to be pure insanity. I don't know. I'm trying to think. This is going to, next one's going to be episode 10, so we have 15 more. There's no way the nationals are going to finish. Maybe, maybe two, three matches, but the bracket with 47 total teams, because it's split off half boys, half girls, right? I, I don't know, because I was trying to build a bracket in my head. I'm sure we'll see a bracket next episode. But I was just trying to see if it's going to be like a four round to the finals, three rounds to the finals. You know, I was just trying to calculate that in my head. It's going to be very, very interesting, though. I loved how it opened with... A, this episode dealt with a lot of pressure and nervousness about going into something as big as this, especially when you work so hard. And especially because it showed a lot of where you know people came from, like Daichi... You know, it shows a lot of our backstories, where we started and how far we've come. So the fact that we're here, I never thought we'd make it here. You know, it's like, you know, I doubted. I didn't have faith in my boys. And, uh, you know, I deserve to be reprimanded for that. But I love how, especially when it touches on nerves, it, it started with Daichi. He's the captain. He's literally been our rock solid foundation for the entirety of the show. And the fact that even your foundation can get that nervous, you know, I love it. Uh, uh, it's realistic is what I mean. I don't love that he's nervous, but I, I love that they w ended up going to the little third years, had a little shrine visit. It's awesome seeing Asahi, Sugawara, Kyoko, and Daichi, how close of friends they are. They've really been in this from the beginning, day one together. I love their personalities, like how Daichi would make Enoshida be like the chaperone over while he's gone <laughs> rather than Sugawara. He's like, why not ask me? I'm the vice captain. He's like, well, you're just going to encourage him. Like, obviously. So he's, he, I, Sugawara is so fun. I love him so much. He's he's always that fun-loving dude. Same with Nishinoya, but thankfully Nishinoya is a second year. If Nishinoya was like <laughs> a, a, a leadership role on this, <laughs> all hell would break loose. Um, speaking of Nishinoya, that was the funniest Nishinoya scene ever. Like, there are in any anime where there's like any sexualness there's always that one lucky perv moment you know where they get it and he's like is this what i've been dreaming of is this the lucky per like he broke the fourth wall and he's like thank you god thank you you <laughs> know there's nothing i could do and then obviously there was something he could do he could have just caught himself she just caught him instantly i mean that's hilarious and then tanaka comes over and like, oh hey it's been such a long time didn't you know i mean if you haven't talked to someone since fourth grade you haven't seen them since before puberty all that you know it's gonna be quite the shock to some people especially in anime might you know might add but 
you know and then also on that note when it comes to our experience our, our third years and all that um it was really nice having that yachi kyoko bath scene where i had no idea kyoko was on the track team she did hurdles especially with track team being such a huge team she wouldn't have any juniors she was friends with it was hard for her to talk to people so she was mainly just friends with asahi and the third years makes you know not third years at the time but her buddies makes a lot of sense um but then Yachi came along. Even when she joined the volleyball team, she still didn't have any juniors. But then Yachi came along, and Yachi's the first person. And Yachi's so genuine and so sincere, you know. So it'd be cool having, like, a girl to talk to like that, you know. Just straight looking out for you, just being awesome. So that, that was a really nice, touching scene. I loved also um, the Neighborhood Association making that, like, hype video to not only get our morale, try to ease some of this nervousness, but also to take a look at some of our best plays and be like, oh, yeah, these are some of the things I can do. I am capable of this. You know, I can easily do them again. You know, just awesome moment. Love this episode. Super excited for this for this next one. I think I'm about to just hop right into it right now. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like usual, uh, if you guys want early access, don't want to wait for the next upload thing bunch I do, check out that Patreon down below. We also have full length over there. Don't forget to follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Peace out, Dapper Squad.